Let's look at the basics of document parking and holding. Now there can be instances where you might not be able to post the document due to incomplete information or other scenarios. Such as you might not have the correct GL account to post to or you are unsure what GL account to choose or the correct vendor or the correct customer. Sometimes you might see two vendors with similar names and you might get confused which one should I use. There can be other instances where you might want to put some text in and or assignment number in and you are not sure what to put there. So you might wait for your supervisor to inform you. So but still you will want to enter all the information in the document before you actually post. Sometimes you might have to go for a toilet break but you don't want to lose the information which you have already entered. So you need some facility to save. Sometimes your building might have a fire alarm goes off and you might all have to evacuate. So again, you must have a functionality to save. So SAP provides two options to save a document without actually posting the document. Now remember, if you actually post a document, it will have financial transactions and will update the, all the ledgers. But just saving the document will not have any financial impact. It will merely have it like a saved document, a temporary saved document document. Now the two options, one is holding a document, second option is parking a document. Now we'll discuss them in detail in the next slides. Now holding documents, again like parking documents, it is temporarily saved in the system in order for you to continue with the entries later. So what are the properties of holding a document? The important one is no document number is assigned. When you hold a document, you must put your own number in. You can just give any type of number. It doesn't have to be 10 digits or anything. You can even give a few digits. It can even be alphabets. Whatever you want, you can just give some information. So just that you know that it, you have held this document. This is the main difference between parking a document. No account balances are updated. As I mentioned earlier, there is no financial transactions impact. So no account balances are updated. Now documents can be incomplete. This means documents do not have to have all the information in. You can even just put in a few lines of information or even just the one or two lines of information and you can hold the document. Now the person who is actually making the entries to the document has to give it a name. That's why I have said no document number is assigned because you have to give the name of the document. This means no document is assigned means no document number is not assigned by the system. But you have to give it a name so you know what that number is. Now held documents or holding documents can be deleted if not required because this document has still not been posted. So you can just put some information. You can come and later even change that information. You can update that information. Or if you feel you have entered all this wrong information, you want to start fresh, you can even delete that document. Substitutions are not supported during holding. We will come later in our presentation. What is substitution? It will come in a few presentations later. Uh, it's something like, let's say you want to put this profit center for this GL account, but then the system will automatically substitute with another one. So we will look at the substitution concept later. Just know that substitutions and validations is all affected at the time of posting a document. So let's just go through again. Holding the document, the main important difference between holding a document and parking a document is no document number is assigned by the system for holding a document. Now let's look at parking documents between holding a document and parking a document. As holding a document, you assign the document number. Parking document, the system will assign the document number. Of course, it has to be internal numbering. Usually for all documents numbering, we mention as internal numbering. So system will assign the document number here. Once again, no account balance is updated because no financial transactions. Documents can be incomplete. Parked documents can be deleted. Similar, all these four principles are similar to the holding document principles. Now we have an option called dual control. Dual control, I think you have been familiar with this terminology. During vendor master and customer master, I mentioned that you have the dual control principle. Well, with one for some fields, for some sensitive fields, if one person goes and makes any changes or updates to those fields, another user has to go and confirm it to make those changes valid. So that was the dual control principle we saw in vendor master and customer master.